Well, hi everyone. Every once in a while, a master gardener will bring something into the office and we like to show it off. This is an insect that I think a lot of you may run and come in contact with. It's kind of an interesting insect, but it's a big one. So I'm going to take a look in here and find it. This, this is called a prionus beetle or a prionus beetle grub. So the grub is the immature form of the beetle. You can see it's pretty good size. You may find this uh, in and around your home and landscape or in your garden. And they will feed on the roots of deciduous trees. And they can actually be a pest of some crops, like for instance hops or citrus orchards or other orchards. And uh, it's amazing how many landscape trees they'll feed on, including like rose bushes and so on, in the roots. And they, they'll penetrate the roots as well and feed on the inside. But if they girdle a root, they could uh, damage the tree to the point where they'll fall off or fall down. They may end up just killing the tree in, in time, especially if there's a, a number of these insects in the soil, not just one. I'm going to lay it down here and, and see if it'll dig itself back in because it doesn't like the sun. So this is brought in by one of the master gardeners. It's called the Prionus beetle. It's probably Prionus californicus. There are other Prionus species, but californicus is really common all the way from Alaska to Mexico and we have a lot of them here and like I said they're, they're pretty common in the landscape and in the spring uh, the the adults will emerge and what they will do is they will fly and they'll mate and they'll lay their eggs and then they'll die and they die pr pretty quickly so the adults aren't around long but when you see them they're huge they're about three inches or, or so long and and this insect right here, this the grub, the immature stage is much longer than that. It's probably about four inches long. You saw it in my hand there. The beetle is very striking. It looks kind of like a cockroach, but it's really not. It has very strong jaws and very long antenna. That's why it's called a longhorn beetle. And so you only see them for a short period of time, but they're pretty big. Anyway, um, this is a common insect in Southern California, and I just thought I'd show it to you so you can understand a little bit about it. So uh, take a look when you get a chance. Thanks.